What's going on everyone? <clears throat> I am back here with another unboxing video and today I'm going to be unboxing the Asus G751 uh, gaming laptop. I picked this up from my local Best Buy store for about $1,400. <clears throat> um, that is after taxes and fees and everything like that. So not a bad price considering what you're getting and the amount of power that is going to be outputted uh, from this laptop. Um, so, uh, I will go over the technical specs, uh, so you guys can make sure that this laptop will run the games that you are wanting to run on it, uh, before you actually make your purchase. Um, so, but yeah, before I get into that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. So, on the front here, we have, uh, the picture of the laptop itself, uh, it says Gaming Notebook PC G Series. Um, on the bottom we have nothing. It's actually a pretty minimalistic box. So, see we've got top, absolutely nothing. Uh, on the bottom, just have some barcodes and whatnot. And on this side we have a serial number, which of course um, is something you do not want to show on video. But anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we get inside. And it is actually quite heavy because it is a 17-inch uh, laptop. So the screen is 17.3 inches diagonally, I believe. So it weighs about eight and a half pounds. So it's quite heavy. Uh, it's not something that you're going to want to carry around and use um, in your hand. Uh, but it is still portable, of course, because it is a laptop. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and crack the seal and see just how you get into this. Let's lay it back down here again. Yeah, let's pull it forward. Okay. So we got to pull up here. Okay. And this box is being a little stubborn. There we go. Okay. So it looks like right on top we have the uh, notebook itself covered in some uh, fabric to keep it protected. Um, on this side, we've got the... Um, this is kind of awkward to do because I'm in a somewhat awkward position right now. Um, so on this side, we have the power brick, it, which is what's going to power the laptop. It says Asus on it. It's actually quite large, to be honest. Uh, it's, let's see, it's 19.5 volt output. So yeah, it's a pretty large power brick. Um, and you got the input to the laptop itself. Uh, and then you have the second portion of that cord uh, to plug into the outlet uh, on your wall. <clears throat> okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and pull the actual laptop out now. Got to pull this little tab here. Okay, let's set that off for just one second and see what else is underneath the tab. Okay, so it looks like just uh, underneath the laptop itself is where we will find the instruction manuals, quick start guide, warranty guides, all that good stuff. But that's not what we're here to see. And it looks like we get four little screws, which I'm not entirely sure what those are for. I'll have to check that out later. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, and that's this quick start guide like I was talking about earlier. And it appears uh, that is all in the box. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way now. Okay, so here is the laptop itself. Let's go ahead, pull it out of the wrapping. Okay, so there it is. Uh, it's actually got a quite nice design on it. Uh, it is all black, uh, and then you have a metal portion right here in the middle, which kind of gives it a nice stealth look, which is kind of cool. Um, and it says Asus right on the front. Uh, and then on the bottom here, I'm going to go over the quick uh, hardware of all the inputs and outputs real quick. Okay, so then we have the indicator lights right here uh, to show you battery power, uh, hard drive activity, all that good stuff. On this side, we have a Kensington lock slot, so if you want to use that, you can. Uh, and then we have two USB 3.0 ports for connection to uh, peripherals and anything like that. Uh, and then we have a DVD drive. Um, it is not Blu-ray, unfortunately. Uh, I believe there is a model of this laptop that you can get Blu-ray. 
Uh, but, but this particular model is not Blu-ray, unfortunately. So you do have a DVD drive uh, still packed in here. Um, and then you have a, an SD card slot, which is a nice addition. On the back, we have dual fan support. Uh, so it'll give you some good performance uh, because it'll keep the laptop really, really uh, cool and keep it from overheating. So one of the major problems with gaming, uh, basically gaming computers in general, is the fact of that they generate a lot of heat and that contributes to some of the slowdown that you will uh, encounter while playing a game. So it's nice that it has dual fans. Uh, and then on this side, we have the charging connector where you'll plug in the charging port of course uh, VGA out Ethernet uh, LAN so you can get high-speed internet without Wi-Fi if you chose to do that uh, HDMI out so you can connect this laptop to your HDTV uh, we have I'm not entirely sure what that is I'm assuming that's a mini display port uh, kind of the same thing you'd find on a MacBook so it does have a mini display port which is interesting uh, and then we have two more USB 3.0 ports, which are also backwards compatible to USB 2, so you can do that as well. Uh, and then we have all of our audio inputs and outputs. So we have our headset, microphone, and then I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'll have to get back on that. But we do have three audio inputs and outputs. On the bottom, we have basically nothing, just the uh, uh, plates where you can take off the bottom part here and upgrade the RAM uh, if you choose to do that, as well as replacing the battery and everything like that. So, and you can upgrade uh, this laptop to, uh, I believe, 32 gigabytes of RAM. So you can actually upgrade it quite high. Um, and it also does include a one terabyte hard drive um, in here. So you're going to get quite a lot of storage space. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up and check out what the inside looks like. Got a little piece of fabric here to keep, protect the keyboard. Okay, so uh, let me zoom in just a tad so we can see this better. Okay, so we have a full-size keyboard um, with red uh, keys to make it, again, more stealth-like. Kind of a, That's a, kind of the theme that's going on here. Um, and you have a full-size trackpad, uh, which is nice, with two dedicated buttons for the left and right click. And, of course, the power indicators, like I said before, are down here. Um, and then up top, you have your 17.3 inch display, uh, which is also touchscreen enabled, uh, which is really, really nice. So you can do multi-touch on this laptop if you uh, choose to do so. Uh, and it also is running Windows 8.1, so it has the latest software installed. Uh, so, so all of the games and stuff should work with that firmware or software stuff like that um and then also you have your power button on that side there and then on this side you have some dedicated gaming keys so the first one here is for steam right here and then the next to that you have a video recording button so you can instantly record your gameplay by pressing that button uh next to that you have m1 m2 and m3 which are customizable uh so you can basically do uh, whatever you would like with those keys and customize it to your preferences. So, uh, that's basically it of the hardware. Oh, actually, I forgot one thing. Uh, it does have an integrated webcam and microphone, so you can uh, use it for ch uh, video chatting purposes as well. So it's got basically all the normal functions of a normal laptop, but has the power to play games. So it's quite nice. Um, anyway, so that's basically it of the hardware. So now let me go over the quick technical specs uh, to let you guys know uh, before you purchase to see if you guys can play games uh, that you would like on this laptop. So uh, let's go and get started with that. So it has six megabytes of cache memory. Uh, the screen size, like I said, is 17.3 inches, which has a resolution of 1080p. So you're going to get full uh, HD resolution with this screen. Uh, the hard drive is one terabyte, like I said, so you're going to get some very good uh, storage ca capabilities. Um, it has Wi-Fi built in, so you have the latest and fastest Wi-Fi. So it has Wi-Fi 802.11ac, so you're going to get some pretty high speed and decent speeds of Wi-Fi connectivity, which is very nice. 
Um, it does have a numeric keyboard, like I said, um, on the left-hand side there, or excuse me, right-hand side. So you have number keys uh, for anything you need to use that for. Um, it has the 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM uh, pre-installed, which has 1600 megahertz. Um, like I said, you can upgrade the RAM up to 32 gigabytes um, if you need to do that. Uh, but for most of us, 8 gigabytes should be enough. Um, I do, however, would recommend upgrading to at least 16 gigabytes because that would secure and make sure everything will work smooth. Uh, but yes, 8 gigabytes is pre-installed. Uh, the battery will last you about four and a half hours on a single charge. Um, that is depending on what you'll be doing. Um, but if you are doing normal tasks, you should get about that amount. Uh, but if you're playing games that are really graphics heavy, uh, you probably will get more like three to three and a half hours, give or take. So, uh, it's, it varies. Uh, the graphics card, uh, is a NVIDIA GTX 65, or 665M. Uh, so it's going to give you some decent performance. Uh, it's, of course, not going to give you the maximum performance possible. Uh, but you will get pretty decent performance out of this laptop. So keep that in mind. If you're wanting maximum settings, I would go with some other laptop. Um, it's probably going to range you in the upwards of $2,000 or more um, for a maximum spec lap uh, gaming laptop. Uh, but this one is a good, uh, has good specs for the price. So keep that in mind. Uh, the processor is an Intel Core i7 4th Gen uh, that's clocked at 3.6 gigahertz, uh, and it can be overclocked by 5% using the uh, built-in software that Asus provides. So that's nice. Um, it has two built-in stereo speakers plus one built-in subwoofer, so you're going to get some fairly decent um, audio out of this laptop. Uh, the video card memory uh, is clocked at 2 gigabytes. So um, keep in mind that the video card only supports 2 gigabytes of dedicated video memory. Um, some uh, laptops you can get with 4 gigs of video memory, but uh, you're looking at, like I said, about $2,000 or more to get something like that. So this should uh, suit you guys pretty well um, for the type of games that you might be wanting to play. Um, and actually, the um, reason why I bought this laptop is one of the main reasons is I'm going to be playing GTA 5 on it. So keep in mind that GTA 5 should play really well on this gaming laptop. Uh, so for those wondering about that, uh, you should be pretty well set there. Um, like I said, has that. One second. And it also has Bluetooth built in. Uh, I believe it's Bluetooth 4.0, so you're going to have the latest Bluetooth connectivity. So you can, say for example, connect a Bluetooth controller or a Bluetooth headset or something like that if you're going to play games online or something. So it's nice that Bluetooth is uh, packed in here as well. Uh, it does not include NFC. Um, let's see here. Uh, it does have a backlit keyboard, so you can use this... Uh, laptop in dark so you can see the keys uh, in a dark room which is nice <clears throat> um let's see uh, it's energy star certified which is not really important but it's good to know um and the hard drive speed is 5400 rpm uh, unfortunately it's not uh, 7200 rpm but should do just fine for the tasks at hand so Basically, that is it of the main technical specs that are packed into this um, laptop. Um, I will post the full tech specs in the description so you guys can compare them and make your decision on what you want to do. Uh, because it is um, a big deal. It's kind of a lot of money to be spending, and so you want to make sure that you're going to be buying the right laptop for you. So I will post those in the description for you guys to check out and compare. Um, but yeah, that's basically it of this unboxing video. Um, I will update, or may maybe I'll make an update video, or update the description, whichever, and uh, let you guys know how the laptop is performing with Grand Theft Auto and other games that I've tested. Uh, so keep or stay tuned for that. Um, 
But yeah, that's basically it of this unboxing video. Hope you guys have enjoyed and hope you guys or hope I helped you guys out in deciding which gaming laptop you would like to purchase. Um, if you guys have any questions or need help or anything like that, leave a comment in the section below and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Um, yeah, also hit the subscribe button down there. Much appreciated. Hit that like button as well. Much appreciated. Um, and also, if you guys um, are wondering about GTA 5 on this laptop, I will post in the description of the settings that I am going to be configuring. Uh, so you guys can also check that out and once again compare it to whatever you'd like to do. So, but yes, with all that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys kind of helped you out with your decision on a gaming laptop. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys have enjoyed once again. Leave a comment if you need help, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.